girls from Apopka, now home from the hospital, are medical miracles. And word of their story is quickly spreading around the world. The odds of giving birth to conjoined twins is a remarkable one in 200,000. And the odds of surviving and now living after separation surgery are even more astronomical. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor caught up with the little girls and their parents to update us on how they're doing. Jesse and Remy Petrie weren't expected to survive birth but they did. Surgery to separate the twins came with even greater risk, but they beat the odds again and now are facing a new set of challenges back at home. <laughs> After making national headlines, once conjoined twins Jesse and Remy Petrie are back home. Deep breath, baby. Come on. The daughters of Andre and Angela Petrie from Apopka. It's been real pretty surreal. Um, just to run into people that recognize the babies. In their first eight week checkup, doctors confirmed the twins faced staggering odds. 60% of conjoined twins are stillborn. The twins were delivered via C section at UF Health Shands, surrounded by surgeons and a large multidisciplinary team. The complexity involves which organs are in fact shared between the two babies. The twins shared one large liver and a portion of their intestinal tract. Two months after their birth, a team of surgeons at UF Health spent five hours delicately dividing the babies in a procedure few hospitals across the country have ever performed. We were able to separate the liver through a plane that we thought would, would work best. Um, we had intraoperative ultrasound to determine where the biggest vessels were, and we were able to divide those. Now we had two babies. Two words the Petrie parents consider nothing short of a miracle. All I can feel is this moment. Both babies are on feeding tubes, and a breathing machine keeps Jesse's lungs inflated. But they can't go to daycare yet. The family's next challenge, mom is going back to work, while dad takes over as full-time caregiver. You're the lifeline. You're the technician. You're the nurse. So you have to stay calm for their sake. Both twins will need several more surgeries. You can hear more from their parents on clickorlando.com. Just click on the Getting Results tab. Kirsten O'Connor, News 6. So amazing. Yeah. And the soon-to-be full-time dad of the twins is coming to News 6. Julie Broughton, Bridget Ellison, and Candace Campos will talk more in-depth with him about the challenges in terms of health, money, and home life. That's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You will want to catch that. Yeah, definitely. It'd be interesting to hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. His life has definitely changed.